this video, I'm going to show the settings I use in DaVinci Resolve 20 to render or export video and audio after editing. So first, I'll drag the video that I want to use onto the timeline, change the frame rate, and then go down and click on the Edit tab. Next, I'll adjust the tracks and then go up to click on Effects so I can drag text onto the timeline to add it to the video. Then I'll change the text from Basic Title to Render, and then go down to click on the Deliver tab, which has the little rocket ship icon. Here is where you can render or export audio and video using different types of formats and settings, so I will show the settings I use to publish to YouTube. So I will copy the path on the computer I'm using for the demo and then paste it into the location section. Then I will scroll over and click on the down arrow next to the YouTube icon and then go down and click on the 2160p option which is for 4K Ultra HD. This won't show all the settings so I will render the video to show why I don't use this as it's set by the software so I'll go down and click on add to render queue, then click the add button for a higher resolution and then over to click render all. Now I have a fairly decent GPU so this will render quickly so I'll double click on the new file and you can see a ghost like distortion when I play it. The original video does not have this effect so there has to be something in the settings that is causing this so I will go over and click on the three dots next to the render settings text and then go down and click on save as new preset. Now I will choose an icon I want to use and then go up and name the preset 4K MP4 and click the save button. Next I will click on my new preset and it will show me more options which the one I need to adjust to get rid of the ghosting effect is this quality setting so I'm going to select automatic and leave it on best and then go up to click on the three dots again. Then I'll go down to hover over my 4K MP4 preset and then go over to click on the update preset settings option and finally click on the update button to save it. Now that the quality is set to automatic, I'll go down and click on add to render queue, then add the higher resolution, click the replace button to delete the old file and go over to click on the render all button. And after the rendering with the new settings is done, I will double click on the updated file and I can see that the new video looks just as good as the original. Now that I'm happy with that preset, I'll create the next one that I use for vertical video so I'll go up to scroll over to YouTube again and click on the 1080p option. Then I'll go up to click on the three dots and down to click on save as new preset and after the save as window pops up, I'll name it shorts and click the save button. Next I'll go up and click on that new preset, then go down and select the use vertical resolution checkbox and also down to pick the automatic quality radio button with the best option. I want to change the icon for shorts so I'll go up and click on the three dots again down to hover over the shorts preset and over to click on edit preset name and icon. And from there I can select the new icon I want and go down to click the save button to update the preset. Then to update the changes I made I'll go up and click the three dots, down to hover over shorts and over to click on update preset settings where it will give me an option to confirm so I'll click on the update button. Now I'll show what happens if you render a wide format video with the use vertical resolution option selected. So with my shorts preset loaded I'll go down and click add to render queue then the add button, the replace button, and over to click on the render one button. And you can see what the video will look like in the preview window. It just shrinks it down so the width will fit inside, and the video will have a black space below and above it. So to fix this, I need to go up to file in the menu and down to click on project settings, and then I need to select the use vertical resolution option there as well, and then go down and click save. And after I see the vertical video showing in my preview window, I'll render the video again, and this time it will have a vertical resolution. Now the last preset that I use is for audio only so I'll scroll over and select the option DaVinci Resolve has for that. Then I'll go down and click on the audio tab where it gives me an mp3 option which is what I choose. And to save it I'll go up and click on the three dots again and then down to click on save as new preset. Next I'll name it audio and go down to select an icon for it and finally click the save button. And now when I click the down arrow next to my presets I can choose any of them to render my audio and video projects. Hopefully this video has helped and feel free to ask any questions that you still may have in the comments. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe for more quick and on point videos.